Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey, Peanut. A little bigger than a peanut, aren't you? Peanut's a pet therapy dog, and this is uh, Peanut's mother, I... Ellen. So what does pet therapy dog mean? Uh, basically, he and I will go to Overlake Hospital, uh, is one place that we go to, and we visit the patients there. Um, and he just, his, his job is to put a smile on people's faces. And does he do that? He does, yes, when he's not sniffing around in someone's backyard at all the different smells. But he was actually uh, licensed for this. He is um, certified and licensed to be a pet therapy dog. Um, we did it through Delta Society, so basically it's um, behavioral, um, basic commands, um, just good-natured, all-around type of dog. Uh, as long as they know basic commands, they don't bark, they like dogs, and they, they have to like dogs and people. The main thing is they have to like people. Um, that's pretty much, yeah. So if, if he goes to a patient and the patient doesn't smile, does that mean that he's failed at no, his job? No, it doesn't mean, okay. no, no, it all, it, <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll go to anybody no matter um, if you, the person likes dogs or not. All right. Um, so, but he, uh, he does more than just the, the pet therapy at the hospital. He does. He's actually now a reading with Rover Dog. Oh, so um, he reads too. He, actually, the kids at, uh, for example, Barnes and Noble will read to him. Okay. Um, the program is about how the kids don't judge, um, the dogs don't judge the kids um, okay. on if they, can, if they can read or they can't read, for example. And so pretty much the dogs just hang out there, and if the kids want to come read to the dogs, they can. So it's promoting reading with the kids. Um, and they stuff like that. can take it at their own pace. At their own pace, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we'll go to like Barnes & Noble. A few Barnes & Noble is partnered with uh, Reading with Rover. Um, and there's special nights that we'll go out there. A bunch of dogs and people will hang out there for a little bit, for mm -hmm. about an hour or so. And, well, kids will come to us and, uh, and they'll read to us. Or they'll just, some will read to the dogs and some will just pet the dogs. <laughs> it gets people out. It does. And peanut out. Yes, it gets peanut out, exactly. But you guys were at a camp this week as well. Yes, we are doing something called Camp Cory. Mm -hmm. It's a camp actually up in Carnation. Um, he, it's a camp for special needs kids. So he, we did it last Wednesday, or no, a couple days ago actually. So mm -hmm. he, um, for an hour, two hours or so, we'll go up there with a bunch of other pet therapy teams. And he will just hang out. The kids will come to him, um, or not. It's a different age, random age group. Um, from like six-year-olds to teenagers, and they'll come play with Peanut. They'll hug Peanut. Um, it just—it doesn't matter. Peanut's just pretty much just laying there, and if they want to come see Peanut, they can. He must love doing this. Um, I. I mean, not just walking around the backyard sniffing yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. No, he loves people. Uh, it, it's, that's just his favorite thing. He'll do the the dog lean um, on you, even if he doesn't know you, to try to get petted. Um, but he's, he loves people, so that's, and he loves kids, um, so I figured he'd be great for something like this. How old's Peanut? He is about five and a half right now, right. so I got him when he was eight weeks old. He, so he is my dog. He is not, uh, someone else didn't train him. Um, he is my dog that I got when he was about eight weeks old. So. But it's not spelled like a peanut peanut. No, it's spelled P-E-N-U-T, because if you say peanut, there's no A sound. Sorry. Oh, great. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> so this is this is what he does. Is is he comes up to the person and uh, he uh, rests his head on their leg, pretty much. Um, hey, peanut. And, uh, I don't pet him. Hey, puppy. Or someone else doesn't pet him. Hi. Um, he'll go into the next leg. <laughs> Good boy. So that that's three things you volunteer for. Anything else? Uh, at this moment in time, I think that's it. That's it. <laughs> that keeps you busy at night, uh, I bet. Weekends. Okay. Well, and some weeknights, but mostly uh, weekends are are stuffed with peanuts. So. How might one find out how uh, their dog mm -hmm. could be? Uh, 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 you can. I have a few contacts, but if you go to delta www.deltasociety.org, uh, there's a whole description in there. There's, I think, there may be even uh, information like there's a maybe there, there may be the actual exam that the dog would need to go through. So you can see if your dog can qualify. Um, we actually do have info booths um, once a month that are free for about an hour. Um, it's in Bellevue, actually, um, that you can go check out and you 
talk to the people there and see if it's something that your dog could might want to do. For. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I wonder if Pixie would be okay with this. She would be awesome. Really? Yes, I think she'd be awesome. You've seen enough of her temperament? Yes. She hasn't really been studying for any exam, though. She, just by just meeting her enough, I know that she would be perfect for it. All right. Yeah, so definitely she would be. She'd be good. Good one. Good dog. Well, good pe therapy dog. Thank you for being Peanut's voice and Peanut's mother. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> he's just so, yeah, he's just enjoying the backyard and the smells. and. There's a lot stuff. here. There is. Not much backyard, but a lot of smell. No, there's a lot, a lot right? Of smell. Yes. Right, Peanut? All right. Say E you later. Can, can you do that? Can you do that? That's good enough.